today, okay, ladies and gentlemen, the guest speaker for Career for Life with Amway, Ashwin Bargar, professional cricketer, and one more big credit, Enan Patina, which is which is the pride for South Region, which is the pride for our entire country, is he is also the youngest platinum in Amway India. And I'm also very much excited because Iniki communicate pandra bidam. The way he's going to connect is about the modern messaging. So are you ready? So without taking much time, I'm going to now invite him onto the virtual session with all your applause and blessings. And I'm 100% sure this session, this session tonight will be a game changer for a lot many people. And we all should reach out to the people in the society, reach out to our brothers and sisters, neighbors, in order to uplift them. So ladies and gentlemen, let's invite Ashwin Bhargava onto the virtual session. Over to you, Ashwin. Oh. We have the spotlight. Video. Hi, guys. Uh, I hope I'm audible. Uh, anyway, I, I know I would probably send kind a of message that I'm, it's all clear because it's hard to know with, with yourself. But anyways, it was, it was nice receiving uh, that introduction and, uh, and um, I think it's quite daunting. Actually, I'm seeing the numbers. This is this is huge. I think there are more than 900 people on this call. I think that that was uh, that's something that's uh, different. I think that's pretty amazing to see that see those kind of numbers. I think to me, um, it's amazing. I think when we think with technology, uh, what's happening with the reach. I think to me today, like thinking on a phone, we were connected with more than 900 people today. That is uh, amazing. When I think about, it. I'm sure it's going to touch thousand or whatever it is. Um, but anyways, uh, thank you so much for the introduction and. Um, um, anyways, uh, I think to me, um, it was not really nice receiving that, but uh, I'll probably give you an introduction myself. Uh, I'm Ashwin Bhargava, uh, a professional cricketer by background, and obviously, now obviously full-time into the MBA business as well. So um, anyways, I, I think to me, first of all, I would, uh, before I get to anything, I, I think I would love to thank uh, Gerald, Bapu, and, uh, and the MBA team for having me over here. I think it's, a, it's an absolute honor to be in this little forum having this little meeting. Uh, but um, anyways, what, what I what we thought was, uh, I think to me, there's so many things you can share, you can learn, but I think uh, the best way I think to me, which was thing is because if I look at it, uh, am I the best in the MBA business? Definitely not. Why I think I'm one of the average or the worst? Because I think to me, if it were for me to teach you about anything about the business, I think there are better people to teach you about it. But what I do think is, uh, maybe if I share my journey towards what happened, what was my experience with the Amway business? Maybe, uh, maybe if you, if you can relate to it, maybe you can see, uh, maybe you can see your journey. If some of you are already building the Amway business seriously, then probably you faced a lot of the stuff that I faced. Uh, maybe you're just getting started on your journey, but these are the things which you will probably face in the future. When what happens when you actually face something that maybe then you will correlate and say, Oh, wow, I can, I can relate to that. I faced something that what Ashwin faced. That's what, Maybe we can have a similarity in something that even though we don't know each other, that's the beauty about the business. We all are fighting for the common goal and the same goal. So anyways, I'll, I'll jump right to it. I think to me today, I was told to share a bit of my story and share a bit about my journey in the Amway business. How did I get started? I think everyone wants to know this, but I think before I get started on how I got into the Amway business, I think it's important for people to know what type of person I was. First and foremost, I, like all of you, I'm young, ambitious, all those things. But um, Traditionally, I was always involved in sport from a pretty young age. I was always uh, involved in sport and I've always been, yeah, and I took cricket professionally from a very young age. And I was pursuing cricket for a long time. Yeah, and um, now in the journey of cricket, obviously we face lots of ups and downs and that journey has been fantastic as well and it's going. But now how did that transition from, okay, pursuing full-time sport to even coming into the business? Uh, first and foremost, I would like to, I think many of you probably know about this because I've, I, I think majority of the crowd, if I'm not wrong, is from Tamil Nadu. So I think I've, I've had a close reaction, close interaction with most of you there, even though, even though I've never been much there, but whenever I have come, it's been really friendly. And I think all of you know that I'm probably, I'm a second generation in the Amway business. So knowing about the Amway business, like traditionally people are invited by someone they don't know or anything. I knew about the Amway business from the day I was born. Like I knew about it. I've, I've grown up within an Amway house. Like I've, I've grown up in a family that has been really successful in the Amway business. So for me, knowing about the Amway business was not, it was not about, oh, is it good or is it, 
did I have to research it or anything like that? Because I knew the Amway business is an amazing business, but it was only a question of when do I do it? I think that's, that's the question. In my story, I cannot tell you, oh, wow, I didn't know about the Amway business and I, I, was, I was wowed by the amazing business that it is, but it was not like that. I knew all about it and it was only a matter of when. So when did that change happen? When did I, from pursuing cricket to say, alongside I wanted to build the business? What, what, when was that time? Like, I remember it was about two years back now. I was uh, at the age of 20 and I, I remember, just like many of you, I'm sure all of you, 20 year olds or 25 year olds, all of you, we have a lot of expenses. I'm sure you, you have a lot of fun, whatever it is. And these sort of things, like if I look back, I, I was a very privileged kid. I've, I've had a lot of luxuries that many have not had, probably some have had, I don't know. But what I can say, I have had a pretty luxury youth. Now, when I look at that journey, there was one thing that I always thought was, I was always able to get what I wanted, even from a young age. But one of the things that I always want is, how long, is, how, how long was I going to live on someone else's riches? Like, my parents are really successful. In this they were diamonds. And I'm sure if you've been in this business for any length of time, you know, you know the lifestyle of a diamond is very different to, a, let's say, anything else. It's really unique. Now, growing up in a house that already had a diamond, I had a pretty decent youth and a good lifestyle coming up. But where was that um, transition into me building the business was, it always would irritate me being in the fact of always having to ask for something. I hated the fact that if I wanted to buy something, I had to ask someone for it. I don't want to ask my parents for anything because I always look at it as I want to earn myself, want to do something on my own, wanted to have, I always tell this to people, one of the reasons I built the business, if I look back on why I started it was, I always was known as Ashwin Bhargava. And I don't think that's what you want to be known as. I want to be known as Ashwin. The Bhargava can come later. Like you want to be known for what you stand for, not because of what your family has done or whatever it is. So that's, that was where I said to myself, I want to look at the business. Why? Because along with my cricket, I wanted something else. I wanted to earn. I wanted to, I wanted to be self-sufficient, never ask for stuff. That was a very, very simple reason that got me started on a very, very big journey. To think about it, that small little reason that I wanted to do things on my own. So how did I get started? That was like that moment where you just say, I want to do something on my own. So that's when I went up and I told my parents, I'm ready to get started in the business. So what do I do? And um, then coincidentally, uh, just a very similar event like this, that you, what you came, I, I, I attended a similar event. And yeah, I, I was kind of, I was like kind of nice. Did I, did I really connect with what the speaker said and did I love it? Maybe not, maybe not the first time, not, not completely, but there were a few takeaways and it was enough for me to be intrigued in the business, but not yet to get committed and start it. Probably it took a second meeting and a third meeting. But when I came to meetings like this, where I saw people and I saw, and I saw people who were really successful in life, really high achievers, really take the Amway business forward. I thought, like, really, there's no thinking for me. It's just high time I got started. There was, no, there was nothing to think. There was no logic behind it. It was just get started now. So that's when I went home and I said, okay, this is it. I want to build the Amway business now. I want, to, I want to drive through, I want to be successful in where you are successful. I know you've achieved great, but I want to be the same. Now that was, that was where I started. Now, so, so what happened? What did I do? First things first. Um, I basically started with the thing and I was like, okay, this is what you have to do. And um, so my journey as a young business was as, as abrupt as that. It was just like off the bat, okay, get started. So I decided, okay, I got started with the MBA business and I said to myself, okay, what do we have to do? And, and obviously when they're an MBA business, it's a people business, isn't it? It's a product, it's a people business. So first thing I had to do was, I, I wanted to, I thought, okay, I've understood the business. I, like, you know, one of the things which probably has hurt me when I was quite new in the business was I had a zero learning attitude. My, my cup was already full. Like I, I never would learn anything. Like if anyone told me anything, I would be like, I know better, I'll, I'll find my way which there is a pro to that, but I think there was more cons when I look back. So I just decided to get on my journey of the Amway business and say, I'll do it my way. And I remember like I got started with the Amway business as quick as possible. I immediately made a phone call to one of my close friends and I told him, um, yeah, I've, I've started something. I'm, I'm really interested in working in it and I, I want you to join, whatever. And you know, many of you have a story where you probably your first person you spoke to was negative or whatever it was. In my case, that was not the case. He was uh, the first person I ever showed the business to was actually very positive. Um, he joined immediately. Day one of my Amway business, I had sponsored my first uh, ADS. Back then it was immediately to be an ADS. Today you have to be an ADR and then ADS, but immediately it became an ADS. So 
That was my day one. Imagine, first day I sponsor an ADS, and guess what? In the evening of the mo morning I sponsor, evening has done about 50 points. And I was thinking to myself, I thought I'm already a diamond. I thought like, wow, I've mastered the Amway business. In one day, I've done better than everyone else. That was my idea of it. Only then did I realize that the journey is just beginning. And I think to me, there are too many, there was a lot of different stuff that I faced over the next few weeks. Uh, so yeah, that was how I got started. And I thought, wow, I've mastered the business and why should I learn anything? I know it better than anyone now. So what did I do next? Next, I decided, okay, I called one person and he was ready, he's, he's keen and they're all excited. So I decided I called 30 people this time. I called all of my close friends and blah, 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 whatever. I told them uh, either it was a product, either it was a business, whatever. It was. I, I made, I decided I will expose the products or the business to 30 people. And I did it, guess what? And I remember this, 30 people I called and I remember very, very, very surprisingly, I, I remember it was like a, it was like a gut wrenching moment because I remember only four people even picked my calls after that. After that, four, 26 people went missing. Four people were even picking my calls. Now those four people, I eventually met them. I shared the products, whatever. And guess what? No one bought anything. No one joined the business. Nothing happened. Now, why am I telling you this? It's because it's funny how the Amway business works. Like when I look back then, after that sort of experience, I probably thought this is not for me. Not that the Amway business doesn't work. Why, does, why did I never feel that? Because I know my parents, they make a lot of money from them. They live a great lifestyle to the business. But for me, I knew the business worked. But maybe I thought for me, the Amway business doesn't work. But I realized later that probably everyone goes through what I did go through at that point. So guess what? I got a few negatives and it was very gut-wrenching. So yeah, there were, there were certain problems. And I remember like I would call, one of those four people would call me and say something like, oh, Ashwin, I, you know, I'm your close friend, but you know, I spoke to my uncle. Yeah, my uncle told me he tried Amway. It, it didn't work for him. He tried this. Someone would say my auntie tried, my uncle tried. And I, I'd be like, okay, how do I respond to this? And then I speak about rejection. It's funny. There's a very funny story that I think about is when people go and ask people certain things is, I, I remember this story because I heard it in, in somewhere and I remember I, I love, love that little story that, that came through was, it was a, it was a love story between, I, I'll just tell you the story and share it with you because I heard it was uh, there's this upline and downline in the Amway business. I'm sure you all know serious builders huh? they're really successful in the Amway business. Very, very successful. And they go in this taxi, they go in the taxi and um, yeah, they're talking about, um, they're just uh, spending time together, obviously upline and downline, right? So they're discussing a few things. The downline is telling the upline, yeah, this month I need to break leg three and I need to fight for leg four, blah, blah, blah. And the upline is telling, yes, yes, this is the month. You know, this, this, this fiscal year, you need to go Emerald. Next fiscal year, you need, to, you need to plan for your diamond ship, all that. They're discussing. And it was, it was probably they had a great time because they are ambitious builders, but what happened? Then the taxi guy drops the upline. The upline goes home. Now the downline is continuing in the car and he's going to his house. Now here's the funny part. So then the downline is a friendly guy. He, he starts talking with the taxi driver and blah, blah, blah. And, and the taxi guy asks, so what do you do, sir? And all that. And he tells, I think the Amway business, vagera, vagera. And then coincidentally, the downline asks the taxi driver, oh, do you know about Amway? And um, then the taxi driver looks at him and like, just gives him a look and says, yeah, sir, I know about Amway, I know. Then the downline asks him, okay, so, so what do you know about Amway? And then he says, yeah, sir, I don't know exactly what is Amway, but for something, if I understand, it's something to do with the mining business. They keep mining for diamonds, emeralds, rubies, whatever it is. And for some reason to achieve that, to get, find these diamonds, they have to break people's legs. Now, the, the, the funny part in this story is, you can, you can hear about Amway from a taxi driver or you can hear about it from an Amway diamond. The question is, who are you going to listen to? It's like today if I got the COVID virus, we all are worried about it, I'm sure. It's affected us big time. But if you were to get it by chance, and God forbid no one should get it, but if you were to get it, would you just go to a chaiwala and ask him to cure you or would you go to a hospital or a doctor? That's the same principle. When I wanted to see... When I got rejections, the number one reason they got rejected was they weren't even asking the right questions. And second, they weren't asking it to the right people. But when I understood that, I really realized that it's only a matter of time before they came back into the business when they understood what I saw in the business. So anyways, coming back to the point where I had faced so much rejection, which I think 
yeah talking about it itself gives me bad memories but i think it's worth it now but anyways going back to that moment when that all that happened yeah i feel the rejections and then i thought okay my first guy is still very active he's very very active in the business now i decided it's been about 3 weeks since i've been in the business i'm i'm really active and the fourth week i decided no one is nothing's happening my growth is not happening nothing one month in i've done nothing i decided to call the very first person that i spoke to the very 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 first person that i spoke to which i told you day one he joined the business he did a 50 point turnover that means 50 pv in the evening of the day I, that he joined the business it was good i decided to call him guess what now this guy is gone negative i was like wow one month in i have nobody not a customer not an abo nothing i have nothing in my business one month in this guy has gone negative and this guy if i look back on why i am here today i think this guy has played a very very big part why will i i'll tell you that story because i think it plays a very big part in why i succeed because i had a lot of people reject me but there was something that he told me that really hurt uh when i uh, when he obviously turned negative and blah 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 he told me one thing he said ashwin i don't think it works and all that i said come on you know it works come on my parents this blah 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 all that but then he said no i don't think so then he said one thing you earn 50000 from the business then you come back to me and it was very hurtful to me back then because back then i did not earn much from the amrit i earned a little bit by doing all this little sales here and there a few thousand rupees i had not earned anything yet i had not earned any significant money it really hurt but that's the choice that you need to make that's the choice at that moment i can tell you this i was that close to quitting i was that close to quitting but i think about it fine lines in life if i had quit back then would i be here in front of you today that's why that story i'll come back to it later on how that story develops uh, but when someone tells me that you can't do it or you do this prove me wrong you know for me there was an ego and i had to do it i had to do it now i had to succeed because more than anything i had to prove him wrong forget about success you know i hated losing i couldn't be a loser in front of him and i wanted to succeed guess what i went back to my parents this time and this time i said instead of doing it my way all these things i will follow what you tell me i will i'll follow what was required i will learn the business the right way what did they tell then i started to understand how do i actually build customers what happened why suddenly the same people who were rejecting me turned because i built a proper customer culture that changed completely with that how did that happen number one many of you people like they talk about right started attending a lot of amway trainings i learned about the products the trainings were fantastic they gave a lot of details in the products i learned about it i learned i was willing to learn the big difference in the first month was i was not willing to learn month two i was willing to learn I went to my apply and strategize the game plan properly for a year. I decided this is how I'm going to build the business. This is what I'm going to do. What did they say? Find the passion. Find the passion. Because by what you're passionate about, that's what you can sell. Rather than looking to sell everything in the world, find something that really makes you unique. That that if someone looks at you, they say that is what Ashwin stands for. What did I think? What what is it that I am unique for? I was a cricketer. What does cricket go with? Number one, being healthy. you cannot find a cricketer a successful cricketer who is unhealthy right so that came healthy living that's when we started moving into i started focusing on health started focusing on purely mutual life as my business that was my fulcrum around my business especially from mutual life comes in my weight loss business and that's how my business started growing my business has been predominantly a weight loss driven business most of my business that i succeeded whatever i did in the amway business has been heavily driven on weight loss how did that happen My parents came over the beautiful weight loss community. My appliance, that's my front line appliance. If anyone understands that, probably the new people here doesn't understand the terminology of appliance and all. But you will figure that out in time. They came up with a beautiful community. It was called Weight Loss Works, and that community, that particular brand that we developed, that brand was what was the fulcrum of my platinum journey. By by getting people onto weight loss, building referrals. finding people finding people and and getting them on weight loss why was weight loss such a good thing for me one because i thought i'm i'm not the fittest person in the world but by no means am i unfit right i'm not i'm not unfit when i spoke to people i had credibility in that industry because i learned about health and i preached what i had learned about and that's how i built that industry that weight loss works industry took off it took off suddenly i was growing like never before all those rejections were behind me suddenly my business was exploding 
suddenly it was a very different world and my business started to take off and i started getting referral after referral get one customer in get referral and out of people who were excited you got a customer in who was excited passionate because they lost weight they went on to say i want to build a business i want to spread the same benefit that i got that's how my business started to grow what happened i found a passion i decided to follow someone i decided to be teachable one of the one of the things i can tell you in the business personal experiences many of us delay our success in the amway business because we refuse to think that someone can do things better than us even in my case even though it was my parents and i knew they were very successful i refused to agree to that the day i did my business just took off so that was my journey and i'll come into how online and how we grew and what what were the different steps we took but anyway that was how my business grew that was my step in the right direction was it all smooth not really there were a lot of difficulties on the path of building this sort of a community and growing a business that way but every hurdle was worth it because we really really accelerated as, as a business now so what happened i started getting referrals and referrals would go into sometimes outstation outstation sometimes you'll get referrals and then eventually you'll get active builders in another state for example we got active builders in in telangana we got active builders in kerala now from bangalore these places are not really close by honestly they're not they're not very close by but but that's the price that's the price to business i decided to drive we decided to drive many times i remember to in my journey of from 0 to 21% to then go platinum i remember so many times traveling to different states traveling it was a distance it's not easy traveling trust me when you're traveling in a car you wake up early in the morning travel 300 kilometers and sometimes you stay for a day or two and then you come back 300 400 kilometers it is i i refuse to tell you this i i wish i could i wish i could tell all of you that i loved that experience i loved it no i didn't i really didn't ex- love that experience but what i loved was even today we paid because of the effort we did a long time back that's the beauty of the business when you put in an hour today you can be paid for a long time as long as you do it the right way and that was the beauty every time that we traveled it was not easy but it was worth it and that was the beauty of the business where um, we traveled and we we met different people met different cultures the beauty of the business is i'm a i'm a 22 year old i don't have any fancy educational background i am not one of those things but when you think about it the business has no restrictions you can you can have doctors in your business you can have scientists in your business you can have anybody in your business but just provided you are ready to pick up the phone and make a call that's what it takes to get a customer in your business that's what it takes to build that explosive growth that's what it takes i believe today and i can tell you this today you don't have to do that traveling that i did you don't have to look back and say i need to travel kilometers and kilometers today all you need is your phone a zoom call away and you can you can meet anyone and everyone just by doing that make that make that one commitment to to just pick up the phone and think just look at the opportunity like i always see when i see people's phone and i see 300 400 600 contact that's a gold mine waiting for you that's a gold mine waiting for you it just takes someone to have the guts to pick up the call and start that process when you do that that's where results come so anyways weight loss works kept growing we started really focusing on the weight loss industry and not, not that we didn't focus on any other things of course we i built the artistry thing i built i built community. we always sold every other product whether it was home care atmosphere mini whatever it was we always kept everything but you always need to have a focus something that makes you unique that was my my unique factor was weight loss so i built that industry and then we moved my parents built a beautiful online community they have a, they have an instagram channel actually i think gerald knows quite a bit about uh, what we do so when i think about it all those things what did the instagram community give to us what did online selling give what did online credibility give what can it give you in the future what does it create when you create a personal brand for yourself online what happens tomorrow when you speak to someone they can look at look you up and you have an online brand working for you when i would tell people about weight loss and i would tell them you know what just check our page out on instagram weight loss works you will know more about it that gave me a lot of posture a lot of strength because i didn't have to beg people i would just say check it out you may like it you may not i don't know you'll check it out yourself what does that give it gives me control that brand image that you can build for yourself on instagram is priceless instagram facebook whatever it is but understanding how to use this i think you have wonderful people out there 
you should contact the person who brought you into this meeting. I think they'll give you a, a proper guidance on where to go with this. But that was my journey in terms of weight loss. But now when I think back, every, every step of the way, every step, uh, when we travel those distances, when we travel those kilometers, uh, I remember once like uh, we traveled like um, what, 350 kilometers. I remember while coming back from there to Bangalore, God forbid, you know, the AC stopped working in the car. This is the peak summer in Andhra and AC stops working in the car. Imagine if you're coming back in a car, it's like an oven. Trust me, Andhra weather is not a weather to be toyed with. It is a very, very difficult weather to hear. So coming back, was that, was that phase of my life very difficult? Of course it was difficult. Of course it was. But that's when I look back and think, thank God I paid that price that back then because today I live a different life because of that. Thank God you, you pay the right, you make the right calls that eventually, like when I think about it today, as a 22 year old, while others are looking at the COVID-19 and thinking, wow, it's just destroyed our, um, our lives basically. It's destroyed, it's disrupted everything. You know, people who've built the Amway business the right way and, and really grown, Amway is not stopped. Think about it. The beauty of the Amway business, did you stop brushing your teeth in this time? Did you stop using Amway products? Amway has just grown and grown. I think the business is doing better now than it has ever, ever done, even when things were open. And really, honestly, credit to Amway for that. Really, when, when things were difficult, to be very honest with you, when COVID came as a surprise to all of us, Amway just like jumped in and provided all these facilities, just like a meeting like today, think about it. Which company does that for you? I think when I think about what Amway has given us was a, was a blessing and they really acted proactive. And today we're all seeing the rewards for that. But anyways, I don't want to talk too much about it. For uh, just cutting a long story short, by driving those miles, we broke a platinum recently uh, in, in another state. Now think about it. All those things, all those times when you, you make those efforts, it pays off in the long run. Did I face negatives? Of course I did. I told you about it. A lot of difficult ne negatives. Now, coming back to that negative, I told you there was a story like no other. I told you about a guy who told me, Ashwin, you earn 50,000 rupees. Then you come back to me. I told you about that. At this point, I was earning a lot from the business, a lot. I was earning a six figure income from the business. I remember that feeling. I, I tell you this feeling. I, I don't know if any, I don't suggest anyone of you do, do such a thing, but I remember what I did. I got the income statement for the six figure income and I decided I'll just take a little screenshot and I'll send it to him. And I thought, I was like, are you sure that's 50,000 or is that a little bit more? Now, uh, is that a good thing? Did I probably hurt him? I don't know, but did it feel good? I, I can tell you this, I will build this business how many ever times to keep getting that feeling, that feeling of winning and doing something that others think you can't. That was what, I, what it was. Now, when I think about it, uh, I don't know if I've taken too much time, actually. I'm a, I'm a little confused. I hope, I, I hope I'm not uh, dragging it in terms of time, but- uh, You're on yeah. time. So anyways, when it comes to the rewards part of what, what did Ambe give me? What, what happened during this run? How was the journey to the platform journey? Like I spoke about weight loss, spoke about traveling, spoke about all this, but what happened? What was the rewards of the business? And what do you think? Now we spoke about find a career with Amway. I think that was the title of today. I didn't even know about it, but it's a wonderful title, find a career through Amway. Now, when I look back two years back, did I think that this was a career for me? Did I think that this was a career? I joined the business because I was spending, let's say X amount of money a month, let's say 5,000, 10,000. I wanted to make an extra five, 10,000 and not ask my parents for it. Back then, did I see a career for myself? I'll be lying to you if I told I saw myself as a career. But when I, when I got in a, and got into the, the, the crux of the Amway business, the career potential, the potential, the life that is possible in a very short time, I look back and I'm thinking sometimes uh, most of you are probably looking at this and thinking, is Amway a career? Is it not? I don't care if it is or not. What I'm telling you is many of you think, let it, let perfection come. Like even I was like this, where we thought, let me think Amway is a career and then I'll take it up. Sometimes we wait for perfection and we fail to act. I don't care about the perfect situation or imperfect situation that we are in today. Today we have a lot of excuses. COVID-19 is one of the biggest of them. But the question is, are you going to wait for the perfect time? Or are you going to start today? Start today. Make a decision today, not, not tomorrow, not, not one year from now, because what I did all my life, 
you know, when I think back, what was the biggest regret I had was I didn't start the business when I was young. I could have started this business when I was 18. I didn't do that. And that was a mistake that I made. That was the one mistake that I think I definitely paid a big price for by not taking up that one moment. So I urge people, take a decision today. Don't wait for perfection. I would say a lot of imperfect things are better than one or two perfect things. So keep going after imperfection. Did I wait to learn the perfect way to build the ambulance? No, I just went and built it. Did I learn? Did I learn everything perfectly? No, I didn't, but I kept doing it. And the more you do something, the better you get at it. So anyways, guys, I think um, we've had a, a long and you know, whatever session, but I thought more than anything, I think I, I guys, I thought it'll be more fun if I use a bit of slides and tell you what was the rewards of the ambivalence? What happened when I, when I traveled, when I built the ambivalence, when I worked hard in the business, what was the rewards? What, what did I get at the end of the road? Like we always tell this, uh, I remember the very first time I came to a seminar and I, I remember what the speaker, what he told me, what, what he told from the stage was, uh, when you look at the Amway business, and this was a, a speaker, he was a founder executive diamond. And he said, uh, what do you think, uh, when you look at the Amway business, if you are sitting in the crowd and asking yourself, is the Amway business easy or difficult, then you're the wrong person. He said, the right person is looking at the Amway business and saying, not whether it's easy, difficult, whatever. They're looking and saying at the end of the road, when you complete the journey, is the journey worth it? Is the journey worth it? Now I can tell you this. I don't know whether you will believe me or not believe me because I don't know you. You don't know me. Most of us are unknown to each other here, but I can show you in the next few seconds, maybe the Amway business was just worth it. And thank God I made that decision. So anyways, I'll use a few slides to just show you what, what was the few rewards as a young 22 year old. What did I get in the last two years of building the Amway business? What was, what happened? What changed the Amway business? Uh, what you see on your little slide here was the first, uh, was the Platinum Forum, if I'm not wrong. I think it was the Platinum Forum, yes. Now, this was me as a 21 year old and I was recognized if I'm, I remember as the youngest Platinum of that calendar year. Did that feel good? I think it was amazing. Now, if I could just go back to the previous slide. Uh, yeah, like when I think about this, what was so lovely about this particular trip was not because, have I been to Bangkok before, trust me, it's a boring place, man. I've been there for four times already. I've been there a lot of times, but what was the difference this time? Why did I enjoy this trip? For the first time in my life, I went on my work, not on someone else's work, not on someone else's money. This was completely paid by Andre. Like, I remember this was for my platinum trip and I remember my platinum year. It's funny to say this. I remember as a platinum, I earned uh, what 9.6 lakhs that calendar year. 9.6 lakhs, a young person earning in a, in a calendar year, 21 year old. Is that, is that um, a good income? I think it was a great income. But today, today, the same, the same repeat, you do what I did, the income is so different. Today, uh, an average platinum earns so much more because core class and the kind of structure you build a business, the kind of customer community that you build, you can earn so much more than I did. But when I thought about that, was a huge income back then. But what was the beauty of this Bangkok trip was it was completely on my own earning and I, I interacted with a lot of amazing people. I actually, I think the speaker who spoke there was the youngest crown ambassador in the world. It was a, it was a, it was a once in a lifetime experience, but why was it special? Not because the experience was great, but because I earned it. That's what the business can give you. Um, this is actually me being recognized as the youngest platinum in Bangkok. Now think about it. 600 people um, are there, I guess, if I'm not wrong, I'm, let my, I'm not sure my numbers are exactly right. 600, 500, 600 people, all at the platinum and above level. They've all achieved platinum. Now think about it. amongst that people, you're being recognized for something that you've done. Think about that. It's not just recognition. You're being recognized amongst winners. Now that's a unique feeling that you get. Everyone in that auditorium is a winner. No one, they have all achieved and been there. They all achieved something to be in that forum. And yes, in that forum, I was recognized, which was an unbelievably great feeling. Now, I remember the very first time I came to something and I saw somebody, some speaker on the stage telling me, I did this, I did that. Uh, I traveled to so many countries. I thought, what a self-obsessed guy. What, a, what a, I don't care if you went to Bangkok or whether you went to wherever you went, USA, you go where you want. It's not my life. What am I trying to tell you is not to tell you, oh, I went to Bangkok, I was recognized. No, I'm not trying to tell you that. What I'm trying to tell you that is if you 
focus this one year maybe next year that could be you maybe that little picture it could be have your face in it that's the difference that's what the ambivalence can get i'm not looking and telling look at me i'm looking and telling that can be you provided you make the right decisions provided you make a few right calls in your this is where you commit to the business like i was i was uh, many times in my business i look back i was about to quit the business but i made a decision to continue every time i was close to quit because i remember my upline told me only one thing uh, what's the best when you are about to quit the and business just make one more phone call that's what kept me going every time i was close to failing i made one extra phone call what do you need you need a phone to build the and business that's bangkok anyways i'm i'm coming to the end of my slides and i this was the npf and anyway this was me speaking in a panel um, the panel was amongst five or six selected platinums there and they were asked a few questions it was lovely i think some of you i'm sure some of you platinums were already there there you've probably seen it it was a great experience anyway this is my last slide now what am i trying to tell you in this slide i why did i pick this slide or this is my last slide is this is my two greatest experiences in life when i think about fun experiences my two greatest experiences was the dubai skydive and uh, the bungee jumping in singapore and why did i pick this was not to tell you that this was my greatest experiences you know the ambi business and bungee jumping and skydiving are so similar so similar it's i remember when i was standing in front of that bungee jump i remember i was right there right there in front of everybody on the edge of that bungee jump i remember did i feel very very excited maybe but was i tensed out of my mind to succeed to, to fall like what was that was i like how would i would i die i don't know i don't know but you even though you know a rope is there it's it's hard to you, you know it's still hard when you see yourself 100 feet down it's it's a lot of difference but why do you take that jump why do you take that jump and whatever is the reason many of us stand there many people i remember stood there in that bungee jump the the final step and many of them backed off they didn't make the jump some did what's the difference in the amway business what's the where do i see the similarity when you are in that that position when you jump in a bungee jump that bungee that rope is going to hold you you know all you require all you need to do in the amway business is to jump in you know the difference in the amway business you may not have a bungee or a rope but the amway corporation will hold you that's what you have that's what you have many of us overthink thousand things you take a decision by making that jump someone will catch you someone will catch you but you got to jump in that's what i did that's the only difference we complicate a lot of things make that jump we think thousand things before we make the jump it's only human nature when i was in that bungee jump it was not like i came there and i just jumped it was tensing but when i made that jump that feeling a winning that feeling of all those negative emotions where oh will i fall will the rope cut will this happen will that happen all that is diminished because that feeling of having done the bungee jump is a different feeling it's a completely unique feeling when you've done it when you jump out of an airplane at 13000 feet it's scary but when it's done that feeling is something you can money can never buy all the money did buy it it was not that it came free money it does cost a lot of money to buy that but that feeling is a unique feeling and that's the feeling you'll get in the angry business but make that jump anyways guys it was um, an absolute pleasure speaking with all of you i i hope like uh, i think i've be, i've been between you and your dinner i hope i've not taken too much of your time but i just want to end by telling a few things when i look back on my journey to platinum and beyond and what is what are the 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 intangibles like i told you the income this that i i my posture grew i i became a better person all those things there were a lot of benefits but when i look back two years and now i remember people would die. i remember some of my closest friends telling me ashwin you must be crazy huh? you must have really no other work what are you doing in all this i remember did when i got those criticisms when i was when some of my closer friends would say are you crazy did it hurt me of course it did of course if you are not human it will not hurt you but if you are a human it will hurt you it did hurt me also but the only question you need to ask yourself at that moment is one question what would you rather be would you rather be crazy and rich or would you be dignified and poor what's what choice are you going to make today make a decision to take a step in the right journey if you're standing on the edge of that bungee make a decision to jump because you know what amway is going to hold you anyways guys thank you so much 
um, with a wonderful audience. Anyways, I would love to hand it over to uh, the MC and they can take it from here.